If a technician tries to check and adjust the refrigerant charge level on a running inverter mini split unit, they're typically going to overcharge the system. And this is because they might try to measure superheat over here uh, on the vapor line or try to measure subcoin. Unfortunately, because of where the metering device is in these mini split systems, you can't measure subcoin properly. The other thing is superheat is always going to be changing based on the circuit board powering the inverter compressor and also the fan. So it's going to be adjusting the speed of the compressor, the speed of the fan, and also the speed of the indoor fan, as well as the position of the metering device. So if you're trying to add refrigerant based on the superheat you're measuring out here, which is the pressure converted to saturated temperature and the line temperature, you could accidentally end up overcharging the accumulator right before the compressor with too much refrigerant to where it ends up going into those tubes. And if you have liquid entering into those tubes and going into the compressor, you're going to end up damaging the actual compression section in that compressor. So in this case, you can see there's a larger accumulator tube, but you could accidentally overcharge this system uh, just by trying to check the charge while the inverter system's running. And so you're going to need to do any refrigerant adjustments in these with the power off just with the total weight method. So you're using the cumulative line set length in order to determine how much refrigerant that you're going to want to add into this system.